everyone. My name is Lindsay Gibson and I'm a reference and instruction librarian um, at the Delaware Learning Center. Today I'm going to talk about resources the library offers in Delaware and Columbus with a heavy emphasis on how to access those resources online. The Delaware Learning Center has two librarians, myself and my colleague Christine. You can email us directly at our personal emails or email the general library email, which is refdesk at cscc.edu with any questions you may have. You can also reach us via phone at 614-287-2460. All of this information plus more is also available on our website, which is library.cscc.edu. I'll be talking about the website more in depth a little bit later in the presentation. <clears throat> So the Learning Center at the Delaware campus includes library, IT, and tutoring all in one place. And I'm going to talk about um, each of these services in the following slides. The library is here to help you with any research you need to do, whether it be a personal interest or a research paper or project. So let's say your instructor assigns you a research paper and you have to find three different types of sources on your topic. We can help narrow down or broaden your topic so you will have an easier time finding information. We can help you find books, ebooks, and films from the library catalog. We can help you search databases for articles, especially academic or scholarly journal articles. And we can help you find websites. We can also help you decide if these sources are credible, which instructors usually require, and decide if the sources are appropriate for your assignments. Um, librarians can also help you with citing your sources. Anytime you paraphrase someone else's idea or directly quote someone else's words, you're, you're required to cite that information to give the author credit and avoid plagiarism, which is considered academic misconduct by Columbus State. Librarians can help you cite all types of sources, such as journal articles, um, your instructor's PowerPoint that they used in the class, or even a tweet in MLA, APA, and Chicago citation styles, depending on what style your instructor requires. As I mentioned, the Delaware Learning Center also includes IT services. IT can help with any technology questions you might have. If you're having trouble logging into your email or Blackboard, they can help you figure out your username and password um, or reset it. They can also field wireless questions, and if you are using CSCC Wireless, they can help you set it up on your devices. They can also help you download free versions of Microsoft Office. IT offers classroom technology troubleshooting and printing and copying services when the college is offering in-person classes. You can reach them via email at helpdesk at cscc.edu or call 614-287-5050 for help. While the college is all online right now, free tutoring is still available. You can access this tutoring through NetTutor, which is located in Blackboard for courses for which you are currently enrolled. Um, NetTutor provides tutoring for accounting, economics, finance and business, English, reading and writing, humanities, and social sciences, just to name a few. Um, the full list is on the slide. Because many of you will probably take at least one class at the Columbus campus, we like to do a quick virtual tour of the library in Columbus Hall. So the first floor is where you can check out materials. You can check out textbooks, requested materials, books, laptops, headphones, anatomy models, group study rooms, and graphing calculators. Um, when Moeller Hall on the Delaware campus is open, you can check out these items from uh, Delaware as well. Just make sure to bring your photo ID. The first floor also has a writing center. The writing center requires an appointment, but they can help you write and edit papers or even help you with a resume. The multimedia support center is also located on the first floor. They have a specialized computer lab that is good for video and photo editing, and the computers have the Adobe suite. Plus the staff um, in the multimedia support center have the expertise to help you. To contact them during this time, email msc at cscc.edu. Uh, they can help with general multimedia questions and find tutorials for multimedia software. The second floor contains all the reference books the library owns um, in Columbus. We also have reference books in Delaware as well, such as encyclopedias and dictionaries. It's also where the reference librarians, my counterparts in Columbus, are located to help you with your research questions. Uh, the second floor contains 86 computers and also the printers for those computers. 
There's a permanent art collection located on the second floor as well. You can browse original pieces from famous Columbus artists such, such as Amina Robinson. Uh, the third floor is where you can find books that you can check out, so not the reference books. It's also the quiet study floor, so if quiet is what you need to study, this is your best bet. There's also a silent study room on the third floor as well. Um, all our physical periodicals, which is a fancy name for magazines, are located on the third floor too. <clears throat> so now we're going to talk about the library website. Um, the library's homepage is your portal to a wealth of information. Learn more about the library services here. You can search the online cata catalog for materials at the library or online or access your library account. Um, you can get to the library homepage by going to library.cscc.edu. So I'm going to take us there so we can look around. Um, so like I said, you can go to library.cscc.edu or you can go to the Columbus State homepage, which is cscc.edu, go to the Academics drop-down menu, and then click on Library. Either one will get you there. So on the library website, um, you can access library databases. So if you go to Find Books and Articles here, this drop-down menu, and then under databases or under Articles, you'll see databases. So that's what you want to click. Um, you can see that you have access to around 200 databases. To access these databases from home, you'll be asked to enter your last name and your Cougar ID. Anytime an instructor says they want academic journal articles or scholarly articles or peer-reviewed articles, the databases are where you would want to look for these sources. The library has created videos to help you search databases um, because they do require a little bit of technique to search. Um, I will show you where those videos are located in a bit. Uh, the library website also has research guides. Research guides are small focused websites created by librarians, sometimes in conjunction with faculty, that are intended to help you with classes and assignments in the online environment. So to get to our research guides, if you go to research help, the drop down menu, research guides is your first choice. Um, you can see they're separated by course guides for specific courses, research support, or academic topics. So you could browse those lists or you could use the search function up here. Um, I'm going to go and search social issues. Um, and then if you, you'll see we have a social issues guide. And if you click on the link, this is what a research guide looks like. Um, and it'll tell you all types of sources to use for this specific topic. So the librarian's done a little bit of the work for you on getting started with your research. In addition, in addition to research guides, the library has quick and tech guides. Um, to get to the quick and tech guides, you just go to research help again, and you'll see the quick and tech guides link right there. And these are um, front and back page PDF um, sheets that cover a variety of topics, so you'll see citing sources or evaluating information, um, how to search academic search complete is in there, so there's all kinds um, of little helpful guides here. You can also use the library website to search for ebooks. Um, if you click, so this is the page we were at when we first got to the library website. If you scroll down, our easy search is right here, and you can search articles, books, ebooks, or textbooks. Ebooks is here. Um, because we're all online right now, ebooks are what you're going to have access to, so it's good to know how to search those. So let's just type in a keyword search, um, and you'll see I have about 2,000 results here, and then if you just click this view online link, you'll be able to read the book in your browser. Um, ebooks are the online equivalent of print books, the advantage being that you can access ebooks from any electronic device you want. So now I'm going to go back to the PowerPoint. Okay. So another great resource you have access to as a Columbus State student is OhioLink. OhioLink allows you to check out materials from most colleges and universities in Ohio. Um, I provided the link here um, that allows you to access OhioLink's ebook collection, and it's basically the same as what I just showed you in our catalog. You can search a keyword, and then you can access the book in the browser. So between our catalog and OhioLink, you still have access to a lot of books. 
A good way to keep up with, uh, with events in the library or current happenings is to check our social media. You can link to our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest from our homepage to see updates. Um, you can also get to our YouTube. The link is in the PowerPoint. Um, to see library tutorials about how to find articles in Academic Search Complete and how to find ebooks or how to cite your sources among other topics are all located there on the YouTube. So those are really helpful, especially if you're a visual learner. So I hope you now feel more familiar with library resources and the way librarians can help you. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us with any questions you may have. We'd be more than happy to help. Thank you.